Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on your rooted Nexus 1. So if you're not already there, go to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that at the top, and then go to how to load a custom ROM on the Nexus 1. Okay, before you begin this procedure, you have to have root access on your Nexus 1. So, there's a link right there in the before you begin section on our how to root your Nexus 1 procedure. Go back to that one, finish it, and then come back to this one and we can begin. Okay, now we need to flash a custom recovery image. Uh, to do that, we're going to download the Amon Ra Nexus 1 recovery image first by clicking the link here. And then scroll down, and the first link under download, you can click on the mirror it's a little quicker, and click save. Okay, so now. After that, we're going to take the file that we saved, the recovery image. You'll see it here, this one. Raw Nexus 1.5.3. And we're going to save it into the Superboot folder that we used um, for rooting the Nexus 1. So you'll see here at the top, my C, Superboot. Saved it right inside there. Okay, after we've saved the recovery image into the folder, we're going to turn our phone off. Then we're going to turn back on by holding down the power and trackball to get it into fast boot mode. And we're going to plug it in. You can also plug it in first and then do that. Either way. It should say fast boot USB in red. Okay, then we're going to open the command prompt. For Vista or higher. It's just CMD in the search. After we open the command prompt, we're going to type the following CD backslash, then CD C. Slash super boot. And now we're inside the super boot folder. We're going to type fast boot hyphen windows space devices and make sure that a serial comes up, which means it finds our phone. Then we're going to type fast boot hyphen windows space flash recovery. And then the name of the recovery image. So recovery hyphen RA hyphen Nexus hyphen V 1.5.3 dot IMG and hit enter. I should tell you it's sending it, writing it, and all set. So now you've got a custom recovery. Okay, so now that we have a custom recovery image, we're going to download a ROM. So on our site, you can click on the Android ROM section link I have here. Scroll down. Until you find the Google Nexus One ROMs. Make sure that it is a Google Nexus One ROM and not for some other phone. And we only have one right now, which is Motocos. So we're going to click download. So you do his site. And if you scroll down, you can see the core download or the way it's secure download. It's up to you. I prefer the core. Click that and then download that. Okay, so while we're waiting for the ROM to download, we can click uh, bootloader on this menu here. And then wait for it to try to find something on our SD card that it's not going to find. And once it's done, down to get to recovery. And then you have your Nexus One custom recovery image. And that's a while in the recovery screen, we can use the trackball. Toggle down to USB MS toggle, click it. It'll say enabled. We're going to plug the Nexus one in while it's enabled to the computer. Okay, so that should allow you to open up the SD card. Uh, and we're going to take the custom ROM we found. 
motor coats and we're going to transfer it to the SD card again just like with the uh, with any type of ROM or recovery image you want to put on the SD card not in any folder so we're just putting it right there on the SD card we're going to let that transfer okay, now that the ROM is on the Nexus one we're going to tap the trackball to disable the USB and now we can scroll down to flash zip from SD card and you'll see the Nexus One ROM we just put on there okay click that and then it's gonna say push the trackball to confirm we're gonna push the trackball again and let it install okay once it's all done it should say install from SD card complete just click on reboot system now and let the phone restart once it's done, you have yourself a custom ROM. Enjoy!